Reports are stating that it has now been confirmed that Tottenham are set to appoint former Roma manager Paolo Fonseca as our new head coach. And this should be officially announced in the next 48 hours. And a message from former Tottenham Hotspur star Christian Eriksen. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. In today's very short video, I'll be going through some Tottenham news, the rumours and reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Let's start with the main story in today's video. Now, Italian journalist Brizio Romano tweeted in the early hours of this morning and has stated that Tottenham are set to appoint Paolo Fonseca as new manager. Confirmed. Final details to be completed soon. Then it will be officially announced as new Spurs head coach this week. Uh, Fabio Paratici contacted Fonseca after Conte talks collapsed. Here we go soon. A report has been published by the Guardian newspaper on this story as well, also written by Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano and Marcus Christensen, and it states Paolo Fonseca agrees to become the new manager of Tottenham. Portuguese manager to sign a three-year deal this week, and Tottenham have turned to Fonseca after move for Conte collapsed. In the report, it states that Tottenham are set to appoint Paolo Fonseca as their new manager this week on an expected three-year deal. Tottenham's new director of football, Fabio Paratici, made a move for the former AS Roma manager following the collapse of talks with former Chelsea and Inter Milan manager Antonio Conte. Talks have progressed well over the weekend with Fonseca agreeing in principle to take over at Spurs, where he will replace Jose Mourinho, the manager who has succeeded him at Roma. The move to appoint Antonio Conte, who departed Inter despite taking them to the Serie A title, broke down as Spurs become concerned over the Italians' demands and whether he would commit to blooding young players. Fonseca is expected to be unveiled by Tottenham possibly as soon as this Wednesday coming. Um, the deal is expected to be structured in an initial two-year contract with an option for another season. Former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Christian Eriksen has been talking to his manager of Denmark and he has relayed the message to La Gazzetta dello Sport, an Italian publication. And Christian Eriksen said, thank you, I won't give up, I feel better now. But I do want to understand what's happened. I want to say thank you to you all for what you did for me. Now for an international roundup concerning Tottenham Hotspur players. Now Harry Kane led England to victory in their opening game of Euro 2020 on Sunday, captaining the side to an important 1-0 win against Croatia at Wembley Stadium. That was his 55th cap for England, 33 as captain. Spurs defender Toby Alderweireld earned cap number 110 and played the full 90 minutes as Belgium were comfortable 3-0 winners against Russia in Group B. The three Welsh players, Gareth Bale, Ben Davis and Joe Roden, all played their part in Wales' 1-1 draw against Switzerland. Gareth Bale earning his 93rd cap, Ben Davis earning his 61st cap and Joe Roden earning his 15th cap for his country. Pierre Mujoybier earned his 42nd cap uh, for Denmark as they lost 1-0 to Finland and he also missed a penalty in that game. Thanks for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you for another video later on this afternoon. Enjoy your day and come on your Spurs.